grade 10s. In today's lesson, we are looking at your PAT, your practical assessment task. And we are going to look at how to manage and manipulate the information that you find to complete your PAT. Now, just a bit of trivia out there for you. You have to put 100% effort into your PAT because it counts 25% of your year mark. So you really need to do the very best you can with your PAT. Let's look at data versus information. We've already learned grade 10 that data is raw, unprocessed facts, and information is the result of data being processed and is useful and meaningful. Keep in mind the words useful and meaningful when you go and research the topic for your PAT project. Right, the first thing we have to do in our PAT is understand the problem or the task that you've been given. So before you start your project, you need to understand exactly what you need to do. So you need to read and understand the topic of your PAT, and you should be able to rewrite it in your own words if you understand what you have to do. And when you do that, you need to take the following into consideration. You have to understand why you are doing the investigation. You have to know what the focus of your investigation is going to be. You need to know how you're going to conduct your, inf your PAT, and you need to know who the target audience is and how you are going to present the information that you find. So here are some problem-solving steps for you. Step one, you are going to define the task, which I've just mentioned. Step two, you are going to establish where and how you are going to find your information. Step three, you are going to find the sources and extract your information. Step four, you are going to use your information. And step five, you are going to evaluate the information that you find. Okay, let's look at the role of questions and questioning to determine the information that you need. Before you start your PATS grade 10s, and before you go and look for the information, you need to ask questions that will help you find the right data and information that you need. So, you need a variety of question types. Now, there are four levels of question types grade 10. Level 1 questions give you facts. So, you would ask things like who, when, where, what, how many. Level two questions give direction to the investigation. Level three questions support predictions or help with adjustments like what if this happened? If this happens, then what would the results be? And then the final is level four questions which support judgments to help or evaluate. So you would say, would it be better if this was done? Um, what would you recommend if this? So those are the four types of questions that you need to ask to be able to find the information. Now the sources. You need different sources besides the internet grade 10s. Believe it or not, there are other sources out there. So. You need publications like books, newspapers, articles, magazines, or brochures. Interviews. You can go and interview a professional um, that's pertinent to the topic of your PAT. Okay? And surveys are a very good way to um, get information in for your PAT. So now, once you've decided how you're going to get your information, you have to do a survey. And a questionnaire is another word for a survey. So when you design your questionnaire, you, you need to take the following into consideration. The appearance of the questionnaire, the question sequence, the wording of the questions, and the response categories. So these will create an opportunity for you to select different options, which will best suit the data for your spreadsheet. Because grade 10s, the data you get in from your surveys has to be put into your spreadsheet, and you need to be able to use that data to do calculations and graphs. So the appearance of your questionnaire should be user-friendly, neatly printed. It should give you clear guidelines. Um, the print shouldn't be too small. Um, 
And these are just a few things that will encourage the respondents to take time to complete the questionnaire. And your question sequence, um, it needs to be ordered in such a way as not to confuse the respondent. And then you need a short introduction that will explain how to complete the questionnaire and why you are doing the questionnaire. So you need to take all these into consideration before you do your survey. Right, let's look at information versus knowledge. Knowledge is understanding a topic or an understanding that you have gained when you find your information, whereas information is items of knowledge. And you need to know the difference when you are going to complete your PATS. Now, when it comes to gathering information, you need to think of ways to find the information for your PAT. And a helpful way to do this is if you do a table like this, okay, where you put the heading, so you are going to ask the questions, then you are going to group your questions under various headings. So you will put a heading, the question, what the level was, remember we discussed levels one to four, and where you are going to find your information. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and look up all the information that you need. So now you have to sift through the information that you find. And remember that you will always find more information than what you need. So you need to be able to go through the information that you find and only select the relevant information. And that's quite a tricky job, grade 10s. Now, let's look at knowledge versus insight. The information you find needs to be interpreted and provide insight into the problem. So once you've found the information that you need, you need to have an opinion on that information. You need to say that, I think that, or I recommend that, okay? And then we need to manipu manipulate the information, okay? You need to identify the most important aspects. You need to summarize it in your own words, great tens, because if you are not, you are committing plagiarism. And you need to use clear, simple language. You need to add graphs, tables, and illustrations to enhance the information that you find and to back up anything that you've said. So now, once you find the information, and you've got all your resources, you need to use a spreadsheet to manipulate that data. So the first bit of data you're going to use is the responses you get from your survey. You are going to analyze it and put it in your spreadsheet. Remember I said earlier that you need to be able to use formulas and functions in your spreadsheet to further analyze the data. Okay, great tens, once you've got your data in your spreadsheet, you need formulas to answer some of these questions. How many? What is the most popular? What is the least common? How many more than? And what is the average? So you need the information in your spreadsheet and formulas that will be able to answer those particular questions. And that grade tens is the end of our lesson on manipulating data for your PAT project. Until I see you next time.